On the coast of northwestern Spain, these women are heading out to the Atlantic Ocean, hoping for a rich harvest. In Galicia, gathering shellfish from the mud at low tide is a job traditionally done by women, and they've passed on their skills through the generations. Their methods unchanged in hundreds of years. What is changing, though, is the climate. Extreme weather events like heat waves and heavy rainfall have hit the shellfish hard. Data from the Galician government shows numbers at the end of 2023 were just 15% of what they were the year before. This in turn impacts the women's livelihoods and the very essence of their lives. You see they're quietly working, quite independent, and then every now and then they'll stop, have a bit of chat, a bit of banter, and then they get back to it. <laughs> Lina and Christina, mother and daughter, work together. For five generations, the women of their family have gathered shellfish, sharing vital knowledge. It's vital to not overfish certain species. Quotas are strict. Today, the women can only catch four kilos of Japanese clams, and they have to be over a certain size. This is all to help protect marine life, so there's plenty in the weeks, months, and years ahead. Do you think you'll get up to four kilos, your quota, today? No creo que los lleve hoy. The women worry when there is less to find. But despite the hard work, it is rewarding. A mí me gusta muchísimo al aire libre. No tengo un jefe que me está machacando, que eso no hay dinero que lo pague. Con lluvia, con temporales, con viento, con calor asfixiante, con con lo que sea. Yo no lo cambio por nada. I had to go myself, much to Lena's amusement. <laughs> this isn't the way to do it, clearly. <laughs> The town of Cambados sits on the coast of Galicia, hugging the Atlantic. The land is lush and green, unlike the dust and heat on the southeastern Mediterranean coast. For a thousand years, the income from the Mariscadoras, the shell fisherwomen, has complemented that from the men out on the boats. But sometimes it's the only income for families if the weather's too bad to go out to sea. They're only out on the water for half a day at a time, but in those hours, they can potentially make close to 100 euros. It's flexible working that's worth protecting. Melissa often works alone, but these women have each other's back when needed. Sometimes maybe they finish uh, first than me and help me. It's friendship. Mm, it's good. easier to, to keep uh, their responsibilities at, at home when you have some friends who help yeah. you. And for example, my... One of my mates had five kids. Five. As the tide comes in, so do the women. Their treasure needs to be weighed before being sold. So now they're sorting the shells. They're putting the bigger ones on top, the better looking ones. So when they're selling at the auction, they look better. Mm -hmm. They'll be sold at auction within hours. Christina, though, is worried that today she didn't get enough. Bad day, bad day. At the bidding house, the shells are bought by canneries or companies that will purify them. They're then sold onto the wider market, from tins in supermarkets to the finest restaurants. I met Maria Jose, who is president of Guimatur, the Association of Sea Women of Cambados. Este año, el invierno fue muy duro, bajó mucho la salinidad, murió mucho marisco, las temperaturas del agua están eh, muy calientes. After 25 years, she stopped shell fishing, but now gives a voice to those who do, and she recognizes the impact of climate change. 
Los trabajos en contacto con la naturaleza pasan a los agricultores, a los marineros, a las mariscadoras. Depende mucho de la climatología. All four of the main species of shellfish harvested here are struggling to recover from the difficult conditions of last winter. The sea really is the lifeblood of Cambados, and shellfishing gives so many women here real independence. And it's a livelihood they want to fiercely protect, not just for their daughters, but for their granddaughters too. Maria Jose and the other women will often meet up their friendships built on the foundations of their work. Hola. Hola. They told me how they've noticed changes in the climate. In only 15 years, you can see the changing. It's really near here. It's, it's now. It's not something happens uh, 100 years ago. It's now. It's happening now. The women are trying to adapt with the climate. But Melissa's mum, Victoria, is angry about another threat from local industries. Factories using the water for their purposes also puts the shellfish at risk. Back home after work, we joined Lena and Christina serving up some seafood. We sat down to chat about how much they'd made from that morning's work. How did you get on today? The price per kilo can vary hugely. When there's fewer shellfish around, they become more valuable. So even on a day like today, when reaching the quota was a struggle, the price is good. 4 kilos de almeja japónica a 22,60 euros. No, en total, 90,40. Esto lo hice hoy, que para mí fue, vamos, un sueldazo. Después de un día duro de trabajo, ver el resultado así, sí te suben los ánimos a pesar de haber tenido un mal día. Spending time with these women for a few days showed me just how important this role is to them. And losing it would mean more than just a loss of income. It would be losing their sense of identity. Para mí es terapia total. Cuando vuelves, te duele todo, pero al día siguiente vas con el mismo ánimo, el estar con las compañeras, acabas de trabajar, te tomas un cafecito, y es terapia, es vida, es, es todo. El mar es todo, es todo. Me encanta el cancha. 